people have this misconception of just because I'm kind and sweet and lovely that I won't rip your fucking head off if you come for me. Um, this is not the type of video I usually make. However, I feel that I need to speak up about what has recently happened to me. My van was hit. It was not my fault. Nobody has owned up to it. I popped a message into the group chat saying that I was really angry and upset, along with the two photos of the damage, which I'll put here for you all to see. The mirror was bashed all the way round. There's no logical reason why I would drive on the road into the barn and lie about hitting my mirror. I'm an extremely good driver. I have never hit my vehicles, ever. Both times my van has been hit, it is quite obviously done by somebody else. All that I had in response from everybody in the group chat was that it couldn't have been any of them. Everyone was pointing the finger saying that it was my fault. And the message that I had from one particular person had a good look at the pic and it must have been a wall. There is no way at one mile per hour. They're all covering up the fact that no one wants to own up to actually doing it. Whether or not someone hit it with a vehicle, I don't know. The other option or idea could be that someone was going past the van carrying something and equally bashed it because I actually had to wipe the mirror and it was that that I first noticed at the time that wasn't right because I'd been backwards and forwards working on my van all weekend. So there was no way that I would have driven with it being like that because when I got in the van to drive away, I had to maneuver the whole mirror to be able to even see out with the mirror. I mean, logic dictates that someone knocked it. I only had one person actually give me a positive message and say, so sorry, your van got hit. Hope you get it sorted out. Nobody else had the slightest shred of apology or intention to come forwards and I still don't know who's done it. I'm actually not that bothered about the actual damage of it. I'm pissed off like you would be but it, I'm actually more angry now because of the way that people have disregarded my request for someone to come forward and then turned it onto me saying that it must have been me and wait for the good stuff. The message that I had from somebody else was this. I've looked over the vans that moved over the weekend. There is no damage to any van. It looks like you have done it somewhere else. It would be good for you to see that nobody at the barn has to do the damage and let the barn now know. I don't know how this scratch has happened. There is nothing to suggest anyone at the barn did it. Please communicate this with the barn to put a rest to it. Thanks. So it's basically saying I've done it and that I should apologise to the people at the barn for accusing them. You make your own conclusion up with that. And because of that text, I knew I wasn't going to get anywhere with that kind of response. People had let me down. People didn't even take my word as being truthful. And I knew straight away that the barn wasn't a safe place to be anymore because I didn't feel respected, honoured, or even cared for in that instance because everybody turned against me and basically labelled me a liar, which was why I put the thumbnail and title on my last video. Let me tell you, it's caused quite a stir. People don't like it. We have been asked to leave the barn. I left of my own decision because I knew that if I stayed, I would say something and it would make it very uncomfortable for Mel. However, They've already done that by the way that they've been treating him over this last week. I've removed myself from the situation because I'm not giving them any more of my time and attention. I want to make this video to make you all aware. Just please know that if you hear anything or people say anything, just get both sides of the story before making a judgment because we have had this time and time again. So it's nothing new to us. I'm just appalled at the way that we have now been treated and continually being treated. We are not happy 
with the way it's been handled. People are showing their true colors. We're all flawed, we're all human. And I'm not saying that I'm above anybody else, but if I get accused of something, I'm gonna defend myself. And I'm gonna defend Mel because he hasn't been wrong in any of this. And we had an incident last summer, actually, similar time, believe it or not, where we had a confrontation with a tenant who was playing music really loud and it made it impossible to film. Now, bearing in mind, this was one of our original agreements when taking on the project. We cannot film if there's music playing in the background. But not only that, it was to a level that was completely hostile. In a shared space, we had to address the issue and just ask for it to be turned down. That wasn't handled very well by the person. They were very childish in the way they behaved. It caused an argument between several people. We were then turned on, like this same situation, and asked to leave. But the details of the agreement are that we are part of the setup. We aren't tenants. We aren't people that come and go. We are part of the organising and the running of the place. That was the original agreement. The fact that everyone always seems to band together and create this kind of community, I think they're all just kidding themselves. This is a workshop. It was set up as a workshop, not a home, not a community. Everyone there is an individual that is supposed to be there to work on their vans, not as some kind of community that has decided this or decided that. The problem with that is that the boundaries haven't been set in place, they haven't been maintained, and so everyone is on a free-for-all, and that's where the problems start arising. Now, I'm not saying it's all been bad. There have been some wonderful times at the barn, and I've been really grateful that we've had the opportunity to be involved there. My warning is to anyone thinking of doing this in the future, be very careful who you go into business with doing this. Be very clear and specific about the types of people you want there, the hours in which you work, the security measures, and the day-to-day -day running of the place. It's a shared space, so you should respect each other's boundaries, respect each other's bays, respect each other's property, don't go helping yourself to stuff, not getting drunk and behaving in a bad manner with other people around. When these things fail, or fall short, you start to get problems. Even down to the simplest things of turning the lights off at night, locking up and making sure the place is secure at all times. You need to be very clear on your boundaries and the conditions. And most importantly, you need to have a contract that everybody signs physically so that you have a copy and they have a copy. And if they breach it, they're out. If you're clear, and you're concise with your boundaries and your rules, none of this should have happened. None of this will happen. Set it up as a business model so that you can go to the bank or go to an investor in the future and propose it as a viable business because if it had been done right in the beginning, it would have been a really successful business. But when you bend the rules or you're a bit slapdash or you want to be friends with everyone, this is what happens. It should have been a business, not a community. There are just so many things that happened and are still happening that could have been handled differently. The way in which people have spoken to us, messaged within the group chat or privately towards us is just abominable and disgusting. I just want to be open and honest with you. I am standing up and telling the truth you can make up your own mind what you think and feel. That's entirely up to you. Any person with any sort of moral compass or compassion should have handled this much differently. From me, from an emotional point of view and the fact of how I feel attacked emotionally and verbally, I, I don't feel safe there. I don't feel like anyone takes my word for being honest and open. I certainly don't trust anyone there. I was labelled a liar. I might not have been called a liar directly with those words, but that was the implication of this message. 
and the behaviour of people since. And as for Mel and me, we are solid as a rock. We cannot be shaken. If anything, this has brought us closer together than ever. And we have just really understood how vile and toxic people can be. If you are feeling like you're being bullied, people are attacking you verbally, emotionally, physically, just know that there are people out there that can help you, support you, and give you the courage and the tools in order to fight back. I'm not saying physical violence is an answer, but bullying has to come to an end. And this kind of toxic behavior and gaslighting is not okay. It's not okay. You just be you, you tell your truth, and that's all you can do. I hate injustice. I hate injustice for women. I hate injustice for disabled people. I hate injustice on any level. I cannot keep silent about it. I wanna be done with this. I wanna move it behind me. And I don't wanna take any more moments to think about these horrible people. After all the time and the care that we have put into that place, the amount of videos that we have covered, nobody would even be there apart from three people if it wasn't for the channel, mainly Mel's obviously, but mine as well. It all starts with us and the original plan. But we have definitely learned this last week. If not, we had already learned it, but even more so this week, you get a bunch of people that have lots of personal problems. They don't own their emotions. They don't own their actions and they band together because it's the path of least resistance, you're, you're in for a, a shit time. I'm not after a vendetta. I'm not after proving that I'm right or wrong. It's not about that at all. The true people that love and care for me will know my heart in all of this. For anyone that thinks otherwise, you don't matter to me. You really don't because you don't know me. I wish I could exactly read out all the messages to everyone because you would be shocked by the, the comments that people that you know very well, you've seen them on the videos, but they have turned like that on us. There's no shred of care or compassion or understanding or even wanting to communicate. They've just put their comments in with no interest in having an open discussion. Oh, and yeah, by the way, the van obviously isn't finished, so we've got to still finish the van somewhere. We've essentially put our lives on hold for two years to put it into the barn, and this is the way that we get treated. Go figure. The next few days, we are going to just be moving out of the barn. I just ask you to be careful in your communication down in the comment section down below. If anything is vicious or negative, you will be removed and you will be blocked from the channel. I'm actually going to seek legal advice. I'm certainly not having an argument with anyone in person. And people have this misconception of just because I'm kind and sweet and lovely, that I won't rip your fucking head off if you come for me. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. You know who you are that do truly matter to me in my life. As for everybody else, you can go fuck yourselves.